Hey, this is Elgin from the Cracked Ass Possible Podcast, back with another Turtle Thursday video here on YouTube. Today we're looking at the last figure in Wave 1 of the Turtles of Grayskull. Of course, it's the deluxe figure of good old Mouse Jaw. That's right, we're going to take a look at this deluxe figure in just a second. <laughs> back we got the figure out of the box so let's take a closer look at the box first uh of course we got some great artwork on this as well over there of course it's mouse jaw evil and armed with a mauser uh of course they couldn't call it uh mousetrap probably because of the game mousetrap board game but i think that would have been a better name than mouse jaw but that's just me Good artwork on the side there as well. Great artwork on the back with him. Kind of similar to, I think, the mini comic of Trap, Trap Jaw. Of course, we have Leonardo there, and then we get a Tila figure, which will be coming in the next waves. Of course, this deluxe figure is a build a figure, um, and you have to build Metal Bato, so a Roboto with Metal Head. Uh, figure there. That's what it'll look like eventually. These are the parts it comes with to add to this guy. Um, but yeah, you can insert the Mauser under his arm. You can attach him to his side. Lots of cool stuff with this. Very cool. So it did come with uh, no mini comic this time. It did come with a little card similar to the Rulers of the Sun <clears throat> that they came out with as well on those three packs. They did this kind of card hard card st thick card stock uh kind of a playing card type of thing it does come with parts list of course uh on the card it has kind of his stats and everything um the description of what he is uh mutagen master powers trap jaw endless array of weapons powerful razor sharp jaw cybernetic strength and the mauser of course is the turtle hunting technology Attack in unstoppable numbers and shell crushing jaws. So that's pretty cool. Little card thing. Let's look at the actual figure here. Here he is. Uh, pretty good looking uh, trap jaw. His jaw does articulate up and down, so that's good. Uh, no little hook to string him through <laughs> so he can slide down. I do like this arm shoulder uh, piece. It's kind of Kind of Mauser, look, Mauser looking as well. Um, it does have, a, of course, some articulation, much like the origin figures. Um, it does have a little turtle belt as well. Uh, of course, his tool belt would be, you know, where you keep the weapons on and everything. Um, but love the colors of this guy as well. Looks great. Um, of course, you could, you know, attach all the weapons that come with it are basically Roboto's weapons. So you could, you know, have a a gun, like the double laser laser blaster. You could have that. Or he could have um, an axe. You can use that. Or he could have another a robot hand, like that. Or he could have um, a blast effect, like that. Um, and this was the other parts, uh, this piece for the Build-A-Figure and then this arm as well. Of course, you could probably put this arm on him. And see how that looks. Oh, I think it's the wrong arm. I think it's his... Put it on the wrong side. It's back on. Or maybe you want just another robot arm. That's cool. Um, my guess is that this thing attaches. Here. No, it must go on his hand. I 
Yeah, that attaches there. Then what's that do? Let's attach those. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so basically you can attach, put attachments on is what that piece goes to. So, or if you want this turtle hand. So I should probably put that in a baggie so I don't lose that. All the build figure pieces. Uh, put this regular trap jar in. So the other thing with this trap jar, he comes with a Mauser. So here he is. And his mouth does open, right? Mouth opens, so he could use him as a gun and shoot a blast effect out like that. Doesn't really articulate enough to open enough. There you go. Um, so you can't take that off. Um, you can't take these legs off here, like this, and you can attach the legs to his belt, like so. And then he becomes like a human, like a robotic mouser, I guess. Um, and you can stick the mouser onto his arm. And now you get this giant mouser guy like this. All like that. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do it. <laughs> you can make him some sort of hybrid guy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, he's got the Build-A-Figure pieces. He's got extra weapons. Those can also be used for the Build-A-Figure. And this guy can be used like this as a mutant crossover thing. I'll come back in just a second. All right, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when a video like this comes out, which will be on a Thursday for Triple Thursday. Be sure to go to our website www.cracktastboss.com website's place to go for all the things you need to know like links to our social media our podcast which comes out every other Tuesday download wherever you listen to podcasts our sponsor Toy Hacks at ToyHacks.com every month we have a caption contest where we give away a $5 coupon for Toy Hacks so check that out and you can be a winner once a month <laughs> uh, if you write something funny and we pick you of course and of course we have Amazon wish lists. Uh, on our website as well. Uh, if you felt so generous as to get us something from that wish list, then we would do a video like this, give you a shout out and say thank you, and say you're awesome, and show the world what you got us. So check that out. Of course, no pressure to do that, but if you felt like you wanted to, then we won't stop you, of course. And uh, what else? There's bios, there's merch, like this hat, and many things on the website. So check that out at www.crackdaspossip.com. Right there. Uh, this has been Mouse, Mouse Jaw? What's it called? What's your name? Mouse Jaw. <laughs> it should be Mouse Trap. Uh, but it's Mouse Jaw. Here he is. <laughs> He's saying, see you later. I'm saying, ciao. For now. Mm -hmm.